Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a wonderful day. I want to say this to you. God is truly amazing. I thank God for knowing the God of the Bible, and I am fired up about Bible study tonight because, my friends, we're going to take a walk in the scriptures And I want to say to you, God is amazing and the Lord is strengthening his people. As a matter of fact, my friends, whether you know it or not, he's strengthening you and he's strengthening me right now. And I am so excited about sharing the word of the Lord with you tonight. Now, before I uh, say a little more about tonight. I want to just uh, uh, mention something, and I really, really, really want to give a great big uh, shout of thanks and appreciation to those faithful uh, viewers and friends and those who have uh, subscribed, those who uh, uh, keep up with us, those who receive uh, uh, this uh, uh, missive during the week. Um, uh, because, you know, uh, somebody's always got something to say about us. And uh, I found out that uh, uh, from time to time, and I don't do it often because I depend on the, 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 the discernment, um, the, the, the common sense, and uh, uh, just, uh, uh, just the, the uh, observation of the viewer to uh, understand certain things. Now, if you notice right off of my left shoulder, there is a beautiful rainbow flag that says Jesus pride. Yes, Jesus pride. I intentionally placed it where it is. Uh, I, I let it hang there. It says Jesus pride because I'm assuming that if you see the rainbow with the seven colors of the rainbow and, and there is written on the rainbow, Jesus pride, then you know that this particular uh, flag has got to be about the creator of the rainbow the maker of the rainbow, the God of the Bible, the God and father of our Lord and savior, Jesus Christ. And you know, the Bible says that Christ is the word made flesh and dwelt amongst us. So um, uh, I understand that someone uh, said that he's a, uh, he's not real because look at that flag over his shoulders, but thank God for an observant audience who would say, well, listen, you got to see uh, the words Jesus and uh, pride there. And, and uh, so from time to time, I want to mention it to you. Uh, we believe at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ that all 12 months belong to the God of the Bible. We also believe that the God of the Bible made the rainbow and that he put the rainbow in the sky, according to the scriptures, to it is a reminder of us as well as to a reminder to himself that he would not flood the earth again with water. If there's ever been a sign of grace and peace, it is the rainbow. God says, when I look at the bow, I will be reminded of the promise that I made that I will not flood the earth again with water. And I thank God for the rainbow. What is unfortunate is that even believers can look at the rainbow and thank LBGTQ. Isn't it amazing that we've given them these symbols? We've surrendered these things to the point that we don't want to display them because we don't want someone to think that we are promoting something that is it, is wrong. When the truth is, The homosexual community, the transgenders, the lesbians, you name it, they have no uh, legal claim to God's rainbow. Genesis chapter 9 and verse 13. I do set my bow in the clouds and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature. Oh, my God of all flesh uh, and of the waters shall no more. Uh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy 
all flesh and the bowl shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it uh, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. So the, the rainbow, the bow, the rainbow, my friends, it shouldn't make you think LBGTQ or any of the rest of the uh, letters that uh, alphabet that go along with that. It shouldn't make you think that a preacher who displays a rainbow is somehow a false preacher or he's pushing a, a, a lifestyle that the God of the Bible calls abominable. No. What it should do is make you think about the goodness and the mercy of the Lord. And the fact that someone would have to, uh, that we'd have to explain this tells me that the devil and uh, the world is doing a much better job redefining and holding uh, God's truth than we are doing in defining and preaching the truth of God. So my friends, you know now uh, what the rainbow flag is all about, what Jesus pride is all about. You know, the month of June uh, and uh, is, is supposed to be uh, homosexual pride month. And uh, we're not going to give them that month. And I think they, I think they get to get two months. Uh, but every month belongs to the God of the Bible. And we celebrate his goodness, his kindness, and his tender mercy. And you know what? This doesn't make me homophobic. It doesn't make me a hater. Oh, he hates uh, uh, LBGTQ people. He, he's homophobic. No, I'm not homophobic. I don't hate anybody. I want to see everybody saved. I want to see everybody delivered. Jesus died for the homosexual. Jesus died for the heterosexual. Jesus died for the black, for the white, for the Asian. Jesus died for all mankind. Jesus died for the Hispanics. Christ is for all. He died for the world, rose again the third day. And he's saying to you, you, and especially you, Give your heart to me. Follow me. Submit to my word. Obey me. And I'll bless your life. I'll cause the sun to come out. And when it's raining and raining and raining in your life, and it's raining and raining, and, you, and it seems like the rain won't stop, oh, just look up. Look to the right. Look to the left. Just look around. Somewhere, my friends, you will see that there will be a rainbow in the sky. Whether it is a physical rainbow and you're going through an actual time of storm as we're praying for people on the Gulf Coast and the Louisiana area, they've been hit hard this year. Or if it is a spiritual sign that you need to see that God is bringing the sun out. He knows how to give you a rainbow. So my friends, uh, I hopefully uh, uh, this will suffice uh, for a while, but I'm going to keep the flag hanging here. And uh, when you see it, when you see it, I'm praying that other preachers will do it. Other churches will display it in their churches. And when people see, see the rainbow flag, see those seven colors and, and see written on the flag, Jesus pride. Or if you have to have anything written on it at all, Christ made the rainbow. We're not going to give them the rainbow. In my closing, look at this. In the last... Uh, eight years or so, we've seen marriage redefined, going from uh, being a union between a man and a woman to a union now between two men, two women, and whatever else. And we've seen through COVID-19, they've tried to redefine the way that we have church uh, gatherings are out. And now everybody's having to uh, go to social media and, and many churches aren't open even in states where they can open. And many churches have closed when social distancing in your congregation wasn't a challenge at all. And yet you closed the house of the Lord. Uh, and so now we've, uh, uh, we're, they're trying to redefine how we have church. You look at this rainbow here. You don't think about the goodness of the Lord. You think LGBTQ. 
Man, the world is doing a great job redefining. Come on, church. Let's stand up. Come on, preachers. Let's preach the word of the Lord. Let's, let's not give any territory to the devil whatsoever, but let, let us allow the amazing God of the Bible to strengthen us in times like these so that we can carry out the work of the Lord. Now, I'm going to talk about it tonight. So join me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for, you guessed it, Bible study. <laughs> yes, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. And uh, if you can't get here, those who are watching us on YouTube Live, Facebook Live, social media, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. We're hearing from you from all over the country. We're hearing from you from various parts of the world. The word of the Lord is going out there. I've always said this and I'm done. There is a market for God's truth. All right. I'll see you tonight. You know, I'm fired up. God bless. <laughs>